Hello artful kids! Today we're going to create a cardboard collage. Here are some examples from the past. So a student made this a few years ago, little angel. And this one is an abstract collage. It's not finished, it hasn't been painted yet, but it is just shapes. It's not a figure of anything, but we've got pieces coming off and lots of different things happening. And this one is a finished one. So after it's painted and colored, this is also abstract because it, it's not a picture of anything. So you're gonna start with a piece of cardboard like this. Now you're gonna decide what you wanna make. So if you wanna create a picture of something, I'm going to make a dragonfly here. So I'm gonna sketch out the dragonfly just so I kind of know um, plan in my mind where I want to go and what shapes I'm going to use. You don't have to do this, but this is one step that you certainly can use. Now, if you want to do a, an abstract collage, abstract is just shapes and color. So um, you don't need to sketch out anything unless you want to for an abstract collage. Now I'm going to get going. So I'm just going to start drawing and cutting out all the different shapes that are going to go in my collage. So I'm looking at my little sketch over here that I made and I know I want a circle for a head and the body. So I'm just going to start cutting out all the different shapes that I want. You could draw on your cardboard first um, or you can just get right into your cardboard and just cut the pieces without doing any kind of drawing first. Now, cardboard is really fun because if you rip it apart like this, then you get this corrugated um, texture part of it. Corrugating is when it goes kind of up and down and up and down textured. So I kind of want some of this corrugated um, cardboard as part of my piece. So I'm ripping apart some of these um, bits of cardboard. Can be a little tricky, but you just keep going and you'll get it. Now I'm going to work on the wings here. So I want to get these wings nice and even. So there, I want to get each of them to look kind of the same. So I'm going to draw it out first, cut it out. Then I'm going to get another piece and I'm going to trace my first one on so that the two wings are the same size. So I'm finishing up with my wings here and I'm just going to start putting it all together and organizing it where I want it to be. If anything sticks off the side a little, that's okay. So I'm going to work on my body here. I'm just going to keep going, working on the different shapes and cutting out the different shapes of my collage. As you're working through building your collage you're gonna have to make lots of decisions and you might change your mind you might stray from the um, <clears throat> sketch that you did before that's okay um, so things change as we get into our our project and we get into our creating and we might change our mind and go a different way than what we originally thought and that's totally fine so that's part of the process of creating, shifting and changing and creating as it goes. So once you kind of get your main um, shapes down, then you can start gluing them down. So you might have um, bottle glue like this that I'm using or also tubs with glue on paintbrushes. So either one, there might be some of both. There we go, and the little eyes for my dragonfly. Bring all the wings together. Here I am creating my second pair of wings, as dragonflies have. So I've got my first one, now I'm going to trace my first wing onto a piece of cardboard to, so that the two wings are about the same size. There, 
and I'm pretty happy with how my dragonfly is. Now you can decide if you want anything else in the picture. So I'm going to create a little sun up here in the corner, but I could also create some grass or flowers or anything else. So you decide how your time is and if you have time to add anything more. So yes, I'm just creating a little sun up here in the corner. Right there we go I feel like I've finished now the next step is to paint the whole thing black so we're just painting a base coat black we're gonna add color later but this is just so that we don't see all the cardboard showing through um, with our colors so we're just doing a base coat of black and just kind of use the tip of your brush to get in all those little hard to reach area so that everything looks black and we don't see any cardboard showing through. Now it might be a little wet still your paint, your glue, so it might move around a little, just be careful. And then when you're all done getting the black on, then just kind of smooth it out a little bit. If you have any places where the brush strokes are really rough, just kind of smooth that out. And then that's where we're stopping for day one. We're going to let this dry. On day two of our project, we're going to add the coloring. So we have oil pastels and we have these paint sticks. Um, we can choose one or the other or a combination of both to color in and add color. Now on your day, when you're adding um, your color, your collages are going to be all dry because it'll be a week later. Well, for me, I mine isn't quite dry yet. I was doing this video all in one day. Um, so there's a little bit of places that are that's still a little wet from the black paint, so it might not work quite as well. Um, but yours will look a lot better. So you're just gonna use a combination of oil pastels and these paint sticks to go ahead and color in your collage. And you can change your mind. I've started with some purple and I decided that was too dark. I might go in with some lighter colors, um, but you just play it around with the colors, play around with the different materials, the paint sticks or the oil pastels, and you just color it in the way you like. also add color to the flat part of the cardboard as well. So I didn't make grass out of my 3D collage, but I'm going to color some in anyway. So yeah, so don't forget to color the background of the collage as well, just to get some color in there. All right, I'm just almost done wrapping it up. This is a project you can do at home too, because you can just find some old cardboard boxes around. Um, and it's all out of cardboard, recycled materials. So yeah, something you can easily do at home. Now I'm finishing up with my clouds and I'm gonna just go through and see if I want any highlights or anything anywhere. And my paint is still a little wet, like I said earlier, so it'll go a bit easier for you. And there we go. I hope you have lots of fun creating your cardboard collage. <music>